What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Zox, and we're back with some more Dislike. Now, we're going to be getting into something really important, and it's going to be talking about the relationship of resist into accuracy, or resist versus accuracy, right? Um, now, of course, guys, if you do end up finding that you like this video, definitely make sure that you like and subscribe for the best Dislike content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. We don't got no time to waste. Now, to simply put, I want to actually use my Long Mion for this example because he is a really, really good example, really, where he's at to kind of show this. But to kind of explain accuracy a little bit, we'll start there. Accuracy is and has a hard cap of 100%, right? Which is what you see now. But one of the things that the game doesn't necessarily tell you is that there is a soft cap of 80%. And I know some of you brain, some of you guys' brains just went off and you're like, wait, really? Yes, there is. So that means that that extra 20% is pretty much useless. You are guaranteed that there's a 20% chance that your debuff will miss, right? Uh, so that means that, for example, on my Long Beyond, that's something that I have to work out of his kit because he doesn't really need the full 100. He needs to be at 80%, uh, if not close to 80% as much as possible for him to be effective because there's nothing he can do about that extra 20% in between, right? Now, when you're also talking about resist, resist is actually at a cap of 100. There is no soft cap to it so it is always going to be a hundred and the way it actually works is it's resist minus accuracy and what this is essentially setting up is the equation of out of that 100 80 percent right minus from the accuracy there's still that 20 percent chance that the debuff will not land cool right you got it you got it all right cool right so now when we're looking at resist it does not matter if your character for example let's say uh i don't even know if i have anyone okay so say my louise um or actually well i i don't think i have anyone i don't think i have anyone okay yeah let's look at it yeah let's look at this right here right um so this bonnie has no gear on or nothing right but when you look at her stats she is max level there's that 20 percent resist and i just want to kind of give the visual so people see it this is that big that innate 20% resist that every character has in the game and there's nothing that you can do about that right now there is a stipulation to this this is what affects only um what is it called their skills without the borders right remember we talked about that in the debuff and buff video the skills with borders um are exempt from this depending on the debuff right or the character or whatever it is but normally they're exempt from this now the ones that don't have like for example just to give a visual stun those that don't have a border are affected by this resist minus accuracy uh, equation right so that's something that's really really important because you now with the knowledge should be able to invest into other things so when you're looking at resist for a character that you really don't want to be affected by anything it is in your best interest to make sure that you have as much as uh, as much resist as possible whereas with a unit in terms of accuracy or landing a debuff you don't have to scale them all the way to 100 percent for them to be at max efficiency right so that ends up being really really crucial now we're gonna actually go to our battle screen here and i actually should be just about done with what i have going on here uh and let's actually take a look at something because i actually wanted to throw this into the video since it's kind of sort of relative i guess but let's go ahead and go to our formation screen uh, and we're going to take a look here at our attributes right so right here you can see that wind has advantage over flow flow has advantage over infernus and then infernus has has advantage over wind now you probably haven't seen any video where anyone's talking about attributes to a degree but I want to talk about this because you might have seen every once in a while your character misses right um, and that's something that I wanted to kind of bring to people's attention is that attributes do matter for that specific reason right it's not just the fact that you can do something called elemental boon elemental boon is like the extra damage you take for having advantages uh, or a advantages element but this is something that you see when you have a disadvantages uh, element hitting a advantages element, right? So this means simply that when you see miss, that is a, it, there's a 50%, um, like I would say chance that you're going to have this miss be applied or that you're going to miss, right? So that's one of those things where shimmer units kind of come to the forefront and kind of shine in that regard because they're not effective 
and or not weak to this whole like idea or concept of missing because of the attribute they're exempt from having an advantage and or having a disadvantage so these are the kinds of units that you can utilize to fill her in to be able to tackle any attribute or any kind of unit within the game without having any penalty issued to them because they are not the same attribute or they're the disadvantages attribute right so that's one of the cool things i would say that how they've kind of utilized attributes within the game i mean it's kind of sort of like other games as well but i did want to actually mention this because i feel like a lot of people don't know i'm not going to over complicate it though with like any more equation stuff but it is definitely a crucial aspect to understanding how you want to actually build characters um, one of the things that i have been trying to aim for on my account is just making sure i have enough units from each attribute and that's just so that i can be able to place some units and that's why even now i am building some of those lower rarity ones even if you do have another variant of them um you got to keep in mind the attributes guys so this almost kind of makes it to where you really want to build everything at some point but working your way up it is going to be a much different process but that's pretty much going to be the relationship between resistant accuracy and then of course with the special bonus of throwing in the missing that you might see from the attributes right so let me know what you guys think and i'll catch you in the next one